I feel that our group did a very good job of working on the survey. Um, together we came up with questions and we used Google survey to come up with a uh, great survey and get a lot of responses. Also, I feel our group did a very good job of dividing the work. Our first task was we would divide the work between the US team and then the Singapore team. And then from there, we would divide the work again. One of the things that I feel our group could do better is make our meetings, meeting times more productive. Oftentimes we didn't have an agenda, so during our meetings, they were, it took a while for us to come up with what we wanted to talk with and what we wanted to get done. So one of the things that I would fix would be having an agenda for every meeting. To collaborate effectively, especially by using social media like uh, Google Docs and speaking through Facebook and Google Hangout. And also, we learned how to uh, take into account the 13-hour time difference between America and Singapore to set up meeting times. First and foremost, you know, making sure that they have a very clear form of communication amongst the American-based American -based team and the team that's abroad. Uh, or that's another country, um, just so that you know you're not like confused and you're not trying to communicate on different modes. So I think that's the um, biggest thing is because like, communication is always the most important you know aspect of any project you're working. On. So what we did was we used Google Doc to collaborate the document. This is very effective for working on a report together, but we had to ultimately convert it to a document to make the report more presentable. Um, another thing we also created a Facebook group which is very effective because information can be easily spread and seen and people can comment and add more information very easily. Also you can clearly see who read the information and who did not by using Facebook. Uh, as for email, right, it's not as easy for collaboration because it is not as readable and after a while the constant emailing um, starts to resemble spam. Also you do not know who has read it or not. Also, Skype is an effective tool, but the disadvantage of it is we cannot have multiple video conversations. So instead, we use Google Hangout, which is much more effective because we can look at everyone and talk to them at the same time. So we mainly schedule our meetings through Facebook and then an email. Usually, the US team's mates will try to set up times as they were when they were free, and they will send an email to the Singapore side, and then the Singapore side will then choose a the time to feed them and then also post a reminder of the date and time on Facebook. Um, due to the time difference, it's hard to get uh, responses uh, immediately and you only get responses until the next day and initially this made the team uh, quite inefficient. However, over time, our team more, uh, worked more effectively via the Facebook group and we responded as much as we could. Also during the meeting, each side discusses what um, each side is supposed to do and we dedicate work accordingly. So this makes it uh, more efficient and everybody knows what uh, is their fair share of the work. Uh, we also learn how to uh, come to a compromise. A professor from Singapore recommended using a paper prototype, but uh, our US counterparts were allowed to use a web template. So in the end, we decided to uh, collaborate together and we decided to use both uh, a paper prototype and a web template. So um, our project got the best of both worlds in the end.